Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Cucumber tutorial series. So today in this video, we are going to see about how to run our Cucumber parallel execution by using the J unit. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen how to execute our uh, scenarios. I mean, the features, uh, Cucumber feature files by using the test ng. So in the test ng, the Cucumber can be executed in the parallel using the test ng and Maven test execution plugin by setting the data provider parallel option equal to true. Right. So the test ng will, will run your scenarios in the parallel mode. For example, in the feature file, if you have uh, like your four five scenarios, that scenarios can be executed in the parallel mode. But when we come to the JUnit code, right? So here you can see the Cucumber can be executed in parallel using the JUnit and Maven test plugin, Maven test execution plugin in the JUnit feature files run in the parallel rather than the scenarios. Which means if you use the test ng for the parallel, so it is going to run your feature file, I mean, your scenarios in the parallel mode. For example, in the feature file, if you have five scenarios, those five scenarios are going to run in a parallel mode when you go for a test ng parallel mode, I mean, parallel execution. But when you use the J unit, so the J unit is going to execute the feature file rather than the scenario. Okay, so that is what they have given. In the J unit, feature files are run in parallel rather than the scenarios. So it means your, your feature file is going to run in a parallel mode. For example, in a, in a project, you have a 10 feature file. It, it has no dependent to the each other cases. Then it can run in the parallel mode. Okay. So that is what we are going to see here. The difference is a test ng will run your scenarios in the parallel mode. But J in it, it will run your feature files in the parallel mode. Okay. So now uh, we have already created the project. So we have a couple of scenarios. I mean, a couple of feature files I have created. And this is a runner class you have to use. So here we have to use the Sharp plugin, or you can use the Maven a fail safe plugin. Anything is fine. Okay. So we are going to use the Maven Sharp plugin to execute our scenario. Okay. So now I have two feature files. One is a Google's feature, and one is a Bing feature. Okay. The Google is going to search on the Google, and the Bing is going to search on the Bing. Okay. So it will launch the Google browser. I mean, uh, it will launch the Chrome browser, the Google. And it is going to launch the Google browser, sorry, Chrome browser in the Bing.com. Okay, so that is what I have just cases we have, I mean, the features I have designed now. And I have the relevant uh, step definitions also being created already. Okay, so now this is a test runner which I have created. Uh, this is for, you can see, this is pointing everything that under the feature file. Okay, I have not, I mean, pointed to only particular Google feature or Bing feature. Okay. This is, I mean, uh, completely pointing to our features folder, which has two feature files in the, inside this feature. Okay. So now when I run this, uh, it is going to execute one by one. So let me run this. So first it will run as a Bing dot feature because that is what it, it's on the top. Okay. So if you don't provide any names, so by default, it will go and sit on the alphabetical order of your feature file. So for example, if you have A, B, C order, then it is going to sit on the alphabetical order until unless if you don't provide any prefix like a 0, 1 underscore or a underscore something like that. By, by it will it will store your feature files in the alphabetical order. Okay. And the execution also will be going the alphabetical order. Don't expect the login has to always run on the top. Okay. If you have login uh, and if you have application support or application verification, something in the feature name, then the application feature name will execute first. Okay, because that will, that will come and sit on the top of your feature folders. Okay, so now we have executed, uh, you might have noticed the first one we got this uh, Bing search. Okay, and the second one we've gone to the Google search. Okay, so this, it, I mean, this particular runner class that is executing both feature files, it is one by one. Okay, now we are going to execute them in the parallel mode. Okay, so I have only one scenario uh, given to the, each uh, feature file. Uh, okay, so when we use the J unit, it, uh, it, uh, it is it is going to run our feature file in the parallel mode, not the scenarios. Okay, so test ng only will run your feature files uh, in the scenarios as a parallel mode. Okay, for example, you have like a four to five scenarios. Those five scenarios will execute in the parallel mode when we use the test ng. Okay, but when it is come to JNet, it is going to run your feature files in the parallel mode. Okay, so we have one common uh, runner class which will handle both feature files. It will execute the both feature files when you run this one. It, it is going to run execute one by one. So we are going to make it as a parallel run. So if you go here, this is what the Maven Sherpa plugin. Okay, that you have to add to your build section in the form.exe. So that I have done it here. Okay. So here you can see 
this is what my build uh, plugin i mean uh, build under this build section you have to add this plugin to your form.xml so the reason was now maven server so plugin you can get it from the google also or you can go to the maven apache maven plugin and from there also you can just copy paste okay and the configuration if you see here parallel methods okay method tag will be i mean parallel tag will be the methods okay and use unlimited thread also you can have it as a true if you want to control that one also you can control so when you scroll down here you can see if you want to uh, set the thread count the specific number then use this as a four okay so for example i want to count the, i mean i want to control the browser i don't want to go for n number of browsers open at the same time i want to control my threads i mean browsers in the thread so in that case you can see uh, the thread count above settings the four threads plus one core okay so if you want to uh this to be four threads across all the rows then to do false so by default i think uh, it will be uh yeah you can set it as a false here okay which means um it, it it is going to control the thread uh, four threads per one four okay and uh, yeah so we will we will run this see uh this is what the setup now so i have used only the parallel methods i mean the parallel tag set as a method and this use unlimited uh thread as a true okay now let's go here and additionally we have to include the runner class so i have one runner class here which is a uh, test google runner dot java okay so you can give that i mean the complete name also here also for example test uh, google runner okay if you have the only one runner then you can directly give the name like this okay so anything in the star in the sense like a path we don't want to provide a complete path you can put a star star which will consider as a regular expression to take this particular file okay so after this uh, come here save your form.xml so right click and run as maven test or you can use the maven command also if you have installed the maven uh, maven in your local computer you can run by a maven command also that will also be seen in the, the, the use case okay now it is going to run so it has to launch google browser as well as i mean uh, chrome browser one website will go for a google and another one is going for the page okay both are has same use case which is going to search the keyword called seeds okay here you can see this is gone for the bing and this is gone for the google okay it is running in the parallel mode so when i run this only this runner file now it is going to execute the feature file one by one okay but when i use this plugin and when i set this parallel equal to methods so it is going to run my feature files in the parallel mode not the scenarios okay so now for example if i go here and if i do uncomment this one more scenario here and here also i'm going to uncomment so now if i run now it is going to again my feature file will execute in the parallel mode okay so let me run this again See, only the two browser is getting open it is not going for the fourth browser because we have this feature j in it only the feature level control okay it is not on the scenario level control. okay so once this is closed again two browser will open for the next runner i mean next scenario and the bing is open so google is set to open now yeah google is open now okay so totally four browsers uh, which is uh, two times so first time for this particular feature file and second time for this feature file okay so totally we got four test cases executed i mean you can see it here okay so this is where the test is started and here is the one two and here also two so totally four executed okay so this is how it will execute so i'm going to comment this one okay so this is for the uh i mean method level right so you have another options uh, where you can go and run the multiple runners. So for example, if you have multiple runners, so in this case, we have only one runner, right? If you want to have one more runner class to manage some other feature file that has uh, no dependence on any, any other test cases or any other feature file, then we can have it as a multiple runner classes also. So in that case, instead of parallel equal to methods, you have to set it as a either class and methods or class. Okay, so this will be see now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to create one more runner class. So by the name of, uh, so this one I'm just giving as a test runner uh, two. Okay. 
and I'm going to give this name as test one runner. Okay, so now I have a two runner class. So, so two runner class also it's it's going to do the same thing. Okay, we are we are just copy pasted things. So it is going to run all the two feature points one by one when you run it as a I mean individual way. But uh, here, right, so since we have made the changes, so I'm going to remove this complete file lane and going to have as a regular expression to pick anything that, that has the runner classes. Okay, so now it has to run two runner classes. So in this case, instead of methods, uh, we have to provide as a class and methods. Okay, now it is going to run. So now we it is it is going to run on the runner level. Okay, so now I'm going to run this. Yeah, you can see. So totally four browsers got open now. So all the flow, four browsers are, I mean, having some tests being executed now. So which means, so earlier it was only two cases. I mean, two browsers are opening and uh, it, it, it is doing the execution, right? Now it is coming as a four because we are running the, the runner itself in the parallel. Okay, so this runner also has two feature file and this runner also has two feature file. So since we have given the parallel equal to class and method, it is going to run the, our, our, our test runner in the parallel mode. So which has every every runner has two feature files. Okay, so that's the reason it got to four browser in the same time. Okay, so when we use the only one I mean only one runner, so that has a two feature. So it was running as a two browser. When I go for a two runner class, two into two, it is it is it is getting open in the four browser. Okay, so this is how we have to do the uh, or achieve the parallel execution by using the JInuit uh, with the Maven test execution package. Okay, so again. Uh, point to remember in here in the sense. So our J in it will execute the feature files in the parallel mode. But when you go for a test ng, the test ng will execute your scenarios in the parallel. Okay. So that's a difference we have to remember. So you have multiple runners. Yeah, you can have the multiple runners also you can run in the parallel mode. So in that case, it is going to run. So this this runner has two feature files. So that is getting open at the same time. And this runner also have the same feature file. And it has it is it is getting open the two browser at the same time. So totally four browser is opening for this particular use case when we have the multiple runners. Okay. So now again you can go to the terminal. Uh, so here also you can use the Maven command to execute the things. Uh, I mean to execute your run. So just go to the terminal. If you have Maven installed, so Maven clean test the command you can use or Maven clean verify also you can use. So now again, this we are running the multiple runner classes. It has to launch four browsers in the same time. Two browsers will run run on the Google, and the two browsers should have the Bing.com. Let's see here. So first, I mean, totally we have four here. So two Bing. Yeah, we have two Bing and two Google browser. I mean, Google uh, website. Okay. So this is how it will work. And everything is working fine. You can see everywhere it is it is started typing the cheese keyword. All the browser has the values. I mean the keyword that we have sent as a cheese is getting entered in the Google search. It's still it is running. Yeah. Once it's done, you can see here. So we got, I mean, everything got executed. So here you can see that, I mean, there are some failures so because of the assertion is getting failed, you can see. So this failure is because of the assertion uh, on the title page, uh, it is it is failed. Okay, that is okay, that is expected one. Okay, everything is working fine. So this is how we have to do the parallel execution. In the JUnit 4, okay, you have to have, I mean, um, you can create a number of feature files uh, in the feature files. You have to provide, I mean, in the pom.xml, you have to add this plugin to run your feature files uh, uh, in the parallel mode. If you provide as a method, then uh, it will execute one runner class. 
uh, with a different feature file. When you have the multiple runner class, then you can go for the instead of method, you can provide as a class and method, or you can use the class also. Okay, in addition to the methods. Okay. So that's all about this video. This is how we can achieve the parallelism, uh, parallel execution in the Cucumber by using the JS. So we'll see the next topic in the next video. Thank you guys.